All right, guys, let's go. It is time for game two of this week's iCast. Your freaking awesome replays. It is, of course, the season to be giving challenge where players had to gift a unit to their opponent at least once every minute of the game, starting from the two minute mark. Up here in the top left hand side in the red, representing Taste the Bacon. It's Psychos. And down here in the bottom right, representing NPNSX, it is Hippie Jet. Both names I, um,. I, rec I, I recognize, actually. I'm not sure if it's a custom or not. I'm not sure if it's a ladder game. Obviously, Psychos is in my clan, but Hippie Jet is a name I've seen around as well. And they're both kind of talking about Christmas. So who knows? Maybe they'll both gift each other some uh, some things in this game. We'll have to keep our eyes on it and see how it goes. Uh, big thanks, Proxy Beastie, for the tier 2 two-year resub before, by the way, dude. Uh, Noff Thrump, 24 years. Holy crap. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as well as, of course, Devil Archon. So guys, if you want to get your replays in for next week's iCast, your freaking awesome replays, aka Icy Far, remember you can always get the up-to-date uh, submission information by typing exclamation mark Icy Far in chat. If someone could activate that command right now, that would be great. Someone did, but they missed, they mistyped it. It's I-C-Y-F-A-R. There we go. The challenge is New Year's resolutions. Declare your mono battle choice at the start of the game. And then as soon as it hits 10 minutes, uh, flake on it. Don't go to the gym anymore. Don't lose weight. Definitely don't go through on, you know, your goals of being a better person. Don't do more than one day volunteering at the soup kitchen. Because, let's be real, you need to go and binge Netflix. It's more important. Uh, hopefully you're having a good time, guys. Send me in your best replays, and I look forward to casting all of those next week. It is a repeat of last year's challenge. It's just such a good time of year to think about how we want to be better people, and then very quickly, immediately forget about it. So have a good time. What do we got? Double Adept on the way here. The Gateways and, and Core a bit later for Psychos. It is a PvP, guys. Now, we haven't really seen any units lost just yet. But Hippie Jet yeah, says, "'Tis the season." And in comes this probe. Guys, you know what they say, never look a gift probe in the mouth. Do you know why, guys? It's because probes don't have teeth and it's fucking creepy. If you stare into their face, it's just a little bright, blowy light, glowy light. These probes are like, oh, dude, he looks untrustworthy. He looks untrustworthy. Finally, one of them zaps him and says, get the fuck out of my mineral line. Get the fuck out of my mineral line, mate. Mate, mate, mate. They're all like, dude, he's watching us. He's fucking watching us. Get him, Gary. Gary, go give him a zap. Give him a fucking zap. Gary. Gary's like, dude, he's not even fighting back. It's fucking creepy, man. In goes Bob. Bob gets on him. Bob goes, nah, I'll take over. I'll fucking fuck him up. I'll fuck him up. I'll fuck him up. And takes him out. And they go, oh, okay. That wasn't quite so scary, I guess, was it? Um, though, you know what, guys? Uh, often a gift comes first and two adepts come second. And whilst the gifts may be very enjoyable, satisfying, and pleasurable, why are we sending one in the... Wait, 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 wait. Hippie Jet, you don't... You, no, no, you already gave away a gift. You don't need to gift an Adept. Oh my god, he could kill so many probes. He's gifting them one at a time. Oh, Hippie Jet, what are you doing? Okay, so because he just gifted one, I think he's going to actually try and do damage with this one. But... Ugh. Oh, Hippie Jet. Only gets one probe. Oh god, that's a, that's a rough start. Thankfully, though, he is keeping his opponent occupied with the fact that he is clearly doing the most inefficient usage of his units in the early game ever. <laughs> He's also got some chat going out, and his opponent's confused. And remember, guys, if you're ever going to be incredibly inefficient, wasteful, and do weird shit, and you want to win the game still, one of the most important things to do is expand fast and non-stop build probes. And Hippie Jet's doing that. Already at a 5 probe advantage with a Nexus art. Meanwhile, Psychos is like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? This is weird. You know? Psychos was one of those kids who, who basically, you know, when he grew up in a rough neighborhood, if someone gave you a gift, it meant, you know, that they owned you from then on and they were going to basically blackmail you into, like, selling, you know, being a drug mule or, you know, something like that, coming and working in their, uh, their, 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 their little uh, hand job factory or something. They're like, mate, remember that time I gave you a hot dog? You're like, yeah, thanks for that. And they're like, yeah, now you need to do five shifts in the hand job factory to pay it off. And you're like, oh, it sucks growing up in the slum. So Psychos doesn't really trust the gifts he's being given. He's kind of a little bit like, I'm not sure what's going on in this game. Another one walks in, he shoots it in the face and goes, well, it's just a probe. 
why what's going on i'm confused meanwhile hippie jet is like dude i am probing like a mother trucker and i'm also making warp prism speed and disruptors so you know what's even an even more awesome gift than just running probes and adepts into their death guys it's dropping uh, testicles on your opponent's face. So yeah, I mean, this is actually gonna be like blitz speed as well. So we often see a lot of disruptor play and we talk about how it's like a tea bag. Now, for those of you who've, who've ever been um, in, a, in a real life situation, if you're not in a video game, it's actually very hard to tea bag someone like, right? In a shooter game, it's easy because you kill them and then you, you drop trowel and you, you crouch on their head. In real life, it's very difficult, right? But I feel like Gravitic Drive, the Warp Prism speed, this is the equivalent, I got you an Observer too, nice. This is the equivalent of you having spent years training in gymnastics and like ninja skills, specifically so you can jump through the air in one smooth fluid moment and, and try to land your balls on your opponent's face. Ooh, and there we go, that's it in action. That was like, you know, like the Matrix scene, jump in the air and, and like she freezes in midair. That was that scene, except freezing with the balls on the forehead. That was that was it. That was the tea bag. Ooh, Blink is out though. You gotta be careful. Blink can still shut this down real quick. Oh, they're hunting. They hunting. They hunting. Ooh, they just barely missed that prism. They're looking for it. They're looking for it. They know that's a big threat. Meanwhile, hidden third base on the right hand side. Very rare third base there that Hippie Jet's gone for. We've got Immortals Charge and plus one on the way for Psychos. Just Immortals and the third base on the way for Hippie Jet. Who is a little bit behind those stalkers. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, oh, they've already used their blink. Oh my god. <laughs> Yet another fantastic slow mo flip through the air, balls on the face, and uh, a few more stalkers go down. Psycho's having a rough game here, despite the gifts being given. Where is the continual gifts? I, I feel like at some point, Hippie Jet's like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll throw away a unit every minute. It's the disruptor shot. And I'm like, Hippie Jet, what? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, that's like when you give someone the present of giving you a massage. You're like, oh, hey, honey, I got you a present. It's a coupon for you to give me a back rub. And you're like, that's not a fucking gift. I think he's realized. I think I think she's gone and shamed him. And he, okay, all right, I'll buy flowers and chocolates. Here we go. We've got a double present, a twofer, two in one. Uh, because I think he has realized, yeah, yeah, a disruptor shot does not count as gifting your opponent something, mate. That's, that's just cruel. That's fucked up. Uh, lots of gateways coming down in the top side as well, and that as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, the Zealots run in, get themselves killed. They actually took a chop. They did take a, a couple swings. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Sentry goes down, does barely miss those Zealots, but big damage on that Immortal as well. This ball, this is the number one criminal in this game, mate. This, this is literally Santa's sled right here, right? But this is the Santa's sled that goes around to all the kids that have been naughty and just gives them lumps of coal. <laughs> Except in this case, it's a giant explosive testicle that blows up in your fucking face. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if Santa's sled like literally was just like, yeah, just like he like slides down the chimney and just like beats kids with his belt that have been naughty and then like fucking makes them eat a lump of coal or some shit. I feel like we could make Santa such a more fucked up myth, you know? It could be so much fun. Uh, things that are fucked up are a lot more fun. Uh, a stalker gift. That's a good quality gift. That's nice. That's a that's actually a good thoughtful gift. A stalker, not a cheap unit at all. Psychos is finally going to try and move out with a warp prism. Has some observers surrounding the bases, trying to not be surprised by this next drop. Will he be ready though? He's only got like five stalkers. It's not a lot of units. Psychos has warning. Has warning. Has warning. Hasn't reacted. Okay, reacts. Oh, he's going to wait for it. Warp in more stalkers. Warp in more stalkers. You could do this. He's waiting. He wants that. He wants to blink on it when it comes in. Oh shit. Meanwhile, these warping and zealots on the right hand side, they're gonna hit that base. It's already up to four bases, Templar archives and all the rest. Oh, oh my god, psychos. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't do it with just four stalkers. You need like at least five or six psychos. Oh my god. The zealots do run in and get some kills here. Or oh, one zealot goes in. And then he waits for more zealots, but I think these stalkers are going to take that prism out. This base, though, is under threat right now. A random Colossus ah, is rallying across them. Oh my god, he's actually going next level, guys. Oh my god, he's actually... That's like when I got a Wyvern for Christmas. As a kid, uh, I wanted a Wyvern for my Orcs and Goblins armies for, army for so long. Finally got myself a Wyvern. I was like, you're fucking kidding me, mum and dad. Look at this fucking thing. That costs so much money. Holy shit. 
Look at that present right there. Oh my, don't shoot. Oh my god, this present fights back. Kills a probe, does end up going down. Still a pretty fucking good gift, right? Even if you cut your, you cut your hand on it while you were assembling it. Um, what else have we got? We got, we got, okay, speed prism. Going to the left hand side. It's going to drop the ball. Uh, it is a big economy advantage right now for Hippie Jet. And this one ball, mate, it has just been doing so much damage. Not again, not again, not again, not again, not again, no, 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 no. You fucking insane man. No! Oh, oh, oh is he going to get punished for once? Please get punished. Oh my god, I'm so mad right now, guys. <laughs> Psychos has got to be so pissed off at this point. He has got to be so pissed off. He's like, just fucking leave me alone, mate. Because this is like, this is literally, Hippie Jet is that douchebag uncle, super drunk, and he gives you this sick present, you're like, oh, thanks uncle, and he's like, no worries, then he just fucking slaps you in the face, and you're like, what the fuck was that for, and he's like, don't be a cunt, and you're like, what did I do, and he's like, shut the fuck up, and you're like, what, and then he just gives you another awesome present, it gives you like $200, and you're like fucking just like, fucking hits you with his cane and shit like like this is some abusive shit from hippie jet he's giving gifts and then he's literally fucking him up with the next swing over and over he's built a gigantic army behind it he is way down on upgrades if two two kicks in psychos may still be able to win but psychos desperately needs to get up some splash damage and his templar archives is not even halfway done yet now uh, buying time up here could be good hippie jet though is just gonna ignore it let this base go down and attack across the map it's gonna be two two for psychos against the one one for hippie jet ah uh, man this is gonna get super fucking awkward real quick lots of archons and colossus i can't imagine this mass blink stalker army can really compete with that that's gonna even warp zealots into the main base as well both sides losing their economy psychos is gonna go home to defend i don't think that's the right idea the archon colossus just seems so hard to beat guys two two will kick in uh, but no zealots warping in the main's getting ransacked. He's going to go for a bit of a flanky flank, but his army's in a little bit of disarray. A big ball comes forward. Actually, doesn't really get that much since the stalkers blink forward. The 2-2 two -two upgrades are not quite done. It's an anti-timing, guys. Attacks just before 2-2 two -two finishes, and the army! The army's not fighting together! Oh my god, he pulls back the stalkers, and the immortals are like, Oh, I think our the job, job's done. Job's done, me lord. It's not fucking done, you useless pieces of shit. This should have been a crushing surrounding engagement for psychos if he waited for 2-2 got one more warp in and hit that flank all together instead ends up losing just about everything click on the colossus uh, uh what what is what is is hippie jet gifting this whole army oh my god hippie jet you massive fucking troll he's like i'll just throw these units away because uh christmas time ha <laughs> ha it's like dude 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 seriously he puts a cigarette out on psycho's fucking face and then is like oh it's okay buddy and gives them like a thousand dollars like this is this is some seriously fucked up weird power meddling christmas gift giving abusive child abuse shit it's fucked it's disgusting hippie jet you should be ashamed of yourself seriously this is this is not this is not what you should do on christmas this is not what santa claus is about you disgust me mate how dare you send me this replay i thought i'd see some christmas cheer especially after game one right instead i see a guy just fucking abusing a child and enjoying it way too much as well. Psychos here is reeling. He's like, oh, I've got two Archons and an Immortal. Maybe I can win the game. He's trying to chase an Observer with a Prism Drop. You guys know when there's like something in the game you're doing that's so insignificant and all of your APMs on it. And like, you know, at that point, you've like lost the plot and the game's fucking over. You're like, well, like, like this is, I mean, this is a thing. There's probably more important things I should be doing, but like, you know, like I did just prism drop an arc on onto an observer, so yeah. Hippie Jet's like, do you want another present, kiddo? Do you want another present? Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Oh my god, Hippie Jet, stop killing. The okay, yeah, even his presents. Okay, I, I, like literally, this is like you get a cool train, but you lick it and it's made in this like really dodgy factory somewhere, and you get fucking lead poisoning. And, and, and that, that was that was also a present. You see, okay, this is a better present. Just move Commander Stalker in. There we go. Okay, that's, that's a little bit of a better one. Uh, Hippie Jet is still trying to long distance mine the top right. Has this base up. Has this base up. And at this point, uh, I think it's time to finish the game, Hippie Jet. Hippie Jet says, oh, sorry, hold on a second. Let me just, uh, uh, ooh, um, Florencio says, and on the 12th day of Christmas, I did not finish the game. I instead made my opponent hate life instead. Ah, he's like, okay, sorry, just reenacting the whole, you know, the classic 12 days of Christmas. 
Sewer Mermaid edition. I'm like, finish the fucking game. And he's like, I could. Or while my opponent's bleeding on the ground, rather than putting them out of their misery, I could poke them with a sharp stick and uh, wait for them to die of infections. <laughs> okay, cool. Good to know you're a terrible human. Psycho's here fighting his little heart out, trying to do an arc on drop. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite realize that he is uh, on 45 probes versus 70 at less than half the supply and uh, generally is in not just Dick Town, but Gooch Town as well. He is completely fucked. And <laughs> he's got a good little pack of Archons. That's something. He's got 2-2 two -two upgrades. Unfortunately, the armor upgrades do not help the Archons at all. Uh, the Archons come forward. The Colossus, the Stalkers, Hippie Jet. Not so much a hippie as a sick, fucking, cruel master of death. Giving gifts with one hand and dropping balls on his opponent with the other. Merry Christmas. I feel like there's an unspoken C word following that. Um, you know, there's like a real serial killer vibe to the way Hippie Jets played this game. Nice disruptor, says Psychos. Thanks. Crazy kills. Oh, he knows they were crazy kills. They were his units. He remembers Hippie Jet. You don't need to tell him. He's like, yeah, but I will. I will. I'm not used to playing against that. Psychos taking it like a fucking champ. Honestly. I'd be a little annoyed after the 300th fucking disruptor drop there, mate. I would be a little annoyed. I like this Colossus gift. He's tried to do a shift command, but uh, he's like, there's, there's no units to kill it. He can't receive the gift. A lot of fuck ups by me. That's true. But you know what? You fought well, Psychos. You kept your head cool throughout it. And in the end, you had a cigarette put out on your face by your uncle. And I mean, what doesn't kill you makes you more fucked up. Good luck in life. GG. Eh. Eh. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that game. Um, got a little dark there.